So a number of you have asked, how do we create images for social media posts? Well, that's a great question. If you're following the protocol, that protocol's wrong word, if you're following my recommendations and you're adding a link back to a blog post from a social media post, you don't need to add an image because it'll automatically pull the image that you have on the blog post into the social media post. But I know a lot of you, much like me, post other social media as well. And so I wanted to show you a tool that I use in order to create great images that I think you can add to any social media post. You can use these for your blogs as well. And I'm going to use a custom GPT here that I normally sell. I'm going to put a link into the group. I'm going to give it to everybody for free. So here's how I do it and it may work well for you. So first and foremost, I go to what's called Character Crafter Cassie. And what I love about this is Cassie is going to create an AI prompt for me that I can use in any AI image software that I want. I can use it in Midjourney, in Dolly, in Leonardo, in Flux, you name it. It doesn't matter. It's going to work in any of those. And so let's go ahead and do this. So if, for example, that I want to talk about uh, AI prompting, uh, I want to talk about a topic or concept, an image, and then Cassie is going to give me some prompts. Let's say uh, AI prompting for business. So I'm just going to give a topic. Based on that, now Cassie's going to come back and going to tell us kind of how it's going to go about things, how she's going to do things here. Uh, and so you can see we're creating some prompts. So professional team meeting, a corporate logo mock-up, a startup workspace, product presentation. You then can take any one of these that are there, just click on the copy code, or sometimes it puts it just in a list and you can just highlight and copy the prompt, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and, um, create that and, and you can do that in any tool that you want. I'm going to show you how I do that in mid journey a moment, but again, you could use any image tool you want. All right. So I'm over here in mid journey. I like using mid journey through discord. You can also use it on the website or anything else, but uh, literally I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to put in the prompt. So if you're on mid journey, you need to start it with what we call the imagine prompt. There we go. And then I'm going to just copy and paste exactly what I got from Cassie. Now, sometimes Cassie puts quotes around things. You can see it's got a quotation here. I'm going to remove those. And the reason is sometimes when AI image tools see this, it wants to put all in the image. And I don't want that to happen. I just want it to create the image. And then because I'm using MidJourney, I'm going to give it a few additional uh, things as far as aspect ratio that I want and tell that I want to make sure it uses the new version and we're gonna have a stylize at a 400 level. So in this case, Cassie is recommending a photography style, diverse group of professionals, business. Let's see what happens here. And we're gonna take just a moment and we'll let Midjourney do its work. All right, Midjourney is just finishing up here a minute. There you can go, we've got four different photos. I can go ahead and click on this and you can see it's done a pretty good job of creating photorealistic images that I could use that would go along with that social post or blog. Let's say for example that like me, you say, I really wanna have a different image. How can I do that? What's well, really easy, let me show you. So I'm gonna go back into Character Crafter Cassie and I'm simply gonna type in a message say, how about a 3D cartoon animation version. And you could add in any type of version that you're looking for, a style that you want. In this case, Cassie's gonna take that same information and it's gonna go ahead and create this for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the code here. Let's go back over to Midjourney and let's try this one. You can get rid of those quotes that it, sometimes she throws in there. Don't know why it does that, but uh, it's not a big deal, just get rid of those. And again, this is the last part I'm here. These are mid-journey specific prompts that I'm putting in. You do not have to do these if you're using other tools, but these help me with mid-journey to get exactly the style that I want. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And you're gonna see now it's gonna go ahead and create 3D animated style. And again, notice back to Cassie here, we'll go back, all I had to do was tell it up front AI prompting for business. You can give it any topic whatsoever and you're gonna get five different prompts. And I encourage you to normally try the five different prompts because you're gonna see you get quite a bit of different stuff. I'll go ahead and do one more here a minute while it's thinking, just so that you guys can see that and see that each of the images is going to be unique and different that it creates. And let's go ahead and add in my last ones. All right, and now you can see we've got a similar image, 
but these are cartoon style at this point, again, which is the style that I use. You don't have to use that. You can use watercolor, digital art, photos, whatever the pick. I know most everybody's going to do photographic, and that's great. And then uh, obviously from these, I can go ahead and save any of these. So let's say I decided I like this bottom left one here or the bottom right one. We'll literally go ahead and create versions of those for you guys to take a look at. And I'll do the same version here just so you can take a look. And you can see there's the nice photographic image that I've got at that point that I can use. And here's another one. Again, really good, photorealistic, very reasonable. Um, I see a few finger issues in this one, but not terrible. And then again, totally different style. Remember, I did two different styles of the graphics. So here's a totally different than the one we looked at earlier. Much more colorful difference. And again, this is why we use Cassie, because Cassie creates prompts that I can't necessarily think of and gives you a, a bunch of different images. So if you're looking to create images for social media, I highly encourage you to do this. You can run them through any tool that you want. It'll work. Uh, and then go ahead and use those images in your stuff. Uh, hopefully it works well. Look for the link below for Character Crafter Cassie. Again, normally it's a paid tool. but I'm going to give it to everybody in the challenge here for free. Have a great day and let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.